yeah, it's a computer generated world. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. it, you know, there's there's positive and negative about all of the technology, right? You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit is good. Too much is mm -hmm. not good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, interesting. And um, yeah, it's it's it, it's just interesting to explore. You know, it's a mm -hmm. whole mm -hmm. big world that you can go in and go around and see what somebody else has built. So. Uh, I like I like puzzles, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. like games so much, but I like I like puzzles. Something that will challenge me to think or to solve a problem. And uh, this is an experience which also has puzzles in it. You go into the world and you mm -hmm. try to solve the different problems uh, mm -hmm. and, and fix things that are broken. And uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, I think it's a fantastic use of imagination and. For me, a nice experience is something like a like a picture that you can walk into, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and it, mm -hmm. it's, it's very much like that, where I don't like the flat screen experience, but if I'm in virtual reality and I can mm -hmm. and I can turn around yeah, yeah, and I yeah. can look mm -hmm. at things and I can pick up things and like what is that okay. and put it back then um uh yeah and also it's also a challenge to yourself as well because mm. it's <clears throat> so some of the games and experiences are quite difficult and mm -hmm. It's nice to put yourself in that position of trying something that is mm -hmm. not easy to do mm -hmm. and to see if it's possible to solve it. It's also something that you would never get a chance to do in real life, you know, visit and it's, it's, a, it's an old mm -hmm. house. It's a big old house with a lot of different objects and puzzles in it and when it's done well it's it's really nice and it's like well it's not as good as reality yeah but you'll never find this in reality you'll never mm -hmm. find a big mm -hmm. old abandoned house in the middle of a forest with all these puzzles in it it doesn't exist mm -hmm. in reality it's somebody's it's somebody's mm -hmm. it's somebody's fantasy it's somebody's piece of mm -hmm. art is when 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 it's done well, it's art, whatever it is, doesn't matter what it is. You know, if you, you can be a, you know, if, it, if a doctor does their job well, it's art, right? It's not mm. just a job. It's art when it's done really well, whatever you mm. do. Yeah. If you're a shopkeeper or a, a painter or a car mechanic, you know, if you do your job well, it's art. Mm -hmm. And the same is true with uh, the design of these virtual world games mm -hmm. when it's done really well it, it's it's art and there's a lot of examples of things not done well right and things that don't work yeah but um but this is done you know it, it, it's you lose you lose you lose where you are you lose a sense of time i was i tried this last week and I was in the world for two hours. <laughs> I just lost, I just lost track of time completely. Mm -hmm. Exploring this place and these rooms and these objects mm -hmm. and these mm -hmm. puzzles. And, you know, when I, when I stopped doing everything, I was like, oh my God, I was in there for two hours. That's crazy. That is really crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, and it's probably a better way to spend your time than drinking mm. alcohol or, you know, to, uh, yeah. or, uh, or passively watching TV. But this is the future. Mm -hmm. so this is, this mm -hmm. is, I have, I have the programs in my mm -hmm. computer for the, the students use for the mm -hmm. human body. 
and mm -hmm. it's it's incredible you can you can yes. go into the brain and make it larger mm -hmm. and smaller and mm -hmm. look at the different parts i believe that the things that i do in education are 10 to 15 years ahead of what everyone else is doing right and i think schools are his historical places now they're they're pieces of history they they, they, mm -hmm. they don't relate to the real world you know it it just it's dead right mm. it's just really dead it's it's the same thing every day you don't mm -hmm. have to have the same thing every day you can have with modern technology you can go anywhere and do anything mm. um There are limitations. It's you shouldn't do just one thing, you know. In life, you should have a variety of different interests. Um, I always say, for every hour that you spend with technology, you should spend an hour outside <laughs> mm -hmm. in the real world. You know, I don't know, walking or yeah. riding a bicycle or mm -hmm. you know, d d doing doing whatever or paddleboarding mm -hmm. or just something, right? Mm -hmm. um, to to be out in the real world. Um, but what matters is imagination because imagination solves problems mm -hmm. and you can only imagine when you're free to imagine okay. and mm -hmm. You're only free when people are not telling you what to do. And, and that's the biggest problem with problem solving is that everybody is being told what to do, where to go, what to do and how to do it. And that won't solve anything because people are not free to explore what they want to explore. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, it's very obvious to me that freedom solves all the problems. It create it creates other problems, but these are positive mm -hmm. problems, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> these these, these yeah. are growth and development problems. It's not it's mm -hmm. not a regression, right? So um, mm. so so freedom solves problems, and when you give people or that, that's the wrong way to look at it. Um, the world fears what will happen if there's no system. Yes. The world fears that. And that's a big problem because dependence on the system creates dependence on the system. It's, it's a downward spiral. And the adults fear what the children will do if the children are free to do whatever it is that they want to do. And, um, you know, it, it's not a crime to have your own ideas and it's not a crime to um, have free thoughts. It shouldn't be. Um, and uh, we have to... A successful world lives in a state of trust where people don't fear the consequences of letting things go and letting things be. Um, for example, mm. if you people fear that if you don't organize children and you don't tell them what to do, that they will make a problem. Well, to be honest, I don't see children making the problems of this world. I see adults making the problems of this world. Mm. And again, this is another problem <laughs> that the yeah. adults are the adults are scared to let the children be free to do what it is that they want to do. My perspective is if you give your children if you give the children freedom, they will self-organize into into different levels of responsibility 
that they that will allow them to explore the world at their own speed and at their own pace um, not in a Lord of the Flies kind of psychological abusive relationship manner but in the sense that um, we can build and grow and if you look carefully around the world you will find examples of children solving adults problems mm -hmm. you know every now and then a child makes a discovery that adults have never thought about like you know a couple of years ago there was some child in school who discovered some new molecule that mm -hmm. adults didn't even know existed mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's what happens if you allow children to to explore the world people fear that it will fall apart it will not fall apart it will self-organize into something else mm -hmm. the same problem happened it's a classic example but the same problem happened when we freed the slaves right you know, when people said, if you free the slaves, who will do all the work? Well, that that's not the problem. The problem is the fact that, that you don't see anything. That's the mm -hmm. problem. It doesn't matter who does the work. It doesn't matter. Society will self-organize to, to find its own solutions. And what happened after we freed the slaves? We had the Industrial Revolution. We built combine harvesters. <laughs> we created fuels from the oils that we discovered. This would never have happened if we hadn't freed the slaves. If we hadn't freed the slaves, we'd, you know, it would still be, it'd still be a, abused black people picking cotton. Um, you know, that it. it, it yeah, right. And, you know, now, now we've to a great extent reversed that and um, people don't realize that we, we need to do it again. Yeah, yeah it, it, it's what is this great fear of of, of what is going to happen? It, it's, it, it's fear of the future. You know, it's fear of children. It's fear of the future. It's fear that somebody might come along and do something better that's not a bad thing right it's not a bad thing and i always argue that nobody knows nobody knows what's going to happen so you can't say that x is better than y really all you can do is have people try this and people try this and look at the results but you can't definitely say this is definitely better than that you don't know you got nothing to compare it to it's like when people say well Taxes are better than no taxes. How can you possibly say that? You've nothing to compare it to. There's no system of no tax. So you can't argue that one is better than the other because there's no comparison. And just on a personal note, why do you think they want everybody vaccinated? Because if everybody's vaccinated, there will be no comparison There'll be mm -hmm. no comparative study group. You won't be able to compare yeah. the vaccinated to the unvaccinated because there won't be a comparative study group. That's the ultimate system of control where there's no other way to do things. There's no other way to go. And when, when there's no comparative study group, it's not real. It's just not it's, it's it's not it's not real to argue that this is the best way when mm -hmm. we don't have results from any other test or any other trial of things. So uh, uh, people have not learned. <laughs> people 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 have not learned anything. They, they they people automatically fear that the alternative is bad. And even if it is bad, why should you stop somebody doing that? Because that will just create more laws and more rules. Why is, why is the virtual world expanding? Why are companies 
or companies right now are ordering 60,000 virtual reality headsets, 100,000 virtual reality headsets. They're ordering them from all for all their employees and happening in education as well, right? Um, why do you why do you think it, it, it's exploding? Because there's no regulation. There's nobody to tell you that you can't do anything. You, the moment you go outside, people say you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't go there. But you put on your virtual reality headset and go. So and there's there's no rules. There's no rules at all. You can go anywhere, do anything, say anything, build anything. No rules. That's why, that's why it's exploding. Because there's no limitation placed on people there. Mm. People are tired of the limits. Everybody telling everybody what to do and how to live their life and where to go and what to think. And mm. Parents are the worst. Right? <laughs> <laughs> They're always telling, it, always telling it to their children. Don't do this, don't do that, don't go there. Bad, 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 bad. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. No, we, and uh, we're, we're, it shouldn't, it shouldn't go further than the parent doing that. You shouldn't have the whole of society being parents. Mm -hmm. Right? There should be, you know, more and more, more freedom will create more freedom. It'll create problems different kinds of problems but uh, um, why are why are private clinics better than state clinics right mm. yeah. right that it, it's because the independent sector can take the risks that they need to take mm. look my my school in Slovakia was a private school mm-hmm people People could get their education for free from the state, or they could pay me. Mm -hmm. pe people paid me. Mm -hmm. People paid me because their free education mm -hmm. from the state was so bad. They were so mm -hmm. unhappy with it that they, that they paid me. Yeah, I don't know if better is the mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. word. Mm -hmm. We, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's just say different, right? Different. It's diff yeah. diff different. Yeah. It's a different mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a different way. Um, obviously, I like to think that I was be <laughs> better, <laughs> right? I, was, I like to think that, yeah. But, um, you know, the reality is it's a different way. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's that's good because... You know, People can choose. Yeah, choose. yeah ex exactly, exactly. If You know, when, when there's only one kind of car, it's mm -hmm. communism, all right? <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 When there's only one product and one manufacturer and, and one way. And, uh, or, the... or, or no car. Or no car. Or no car. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> My God. Do you, 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 you think the environmentalists are not like the communists? I mean, the communists would be like, you don't need a car. The, environments, the environmentalists are like, you don't need a car. I'm like, mm -hmm. no, wait, that's the same thing. <laughs> they are the same. That's, yes, exactly. That's, that's, I'm like, that's the same thing. Don't you see? Mm. Right. I, like, I, I, I understand your heart is in the right place. I get it. Your heart is in the right place. I understand it. <laughs> but your argument and their argument are the same argument with the same result. Yeah, it, mm. it's not leading to a good place. Yeah, yeah. Let's close down, close down these dirty coal power plants. It's but where are you going to get your energy from? Mm. The wind. I'm like, <laughs> what wind, right? <laughs> what happens when there's no wind, right? <laughs> what do you, what are you going to do then, right? <laughs> you talk about climate change. Climate is always changing, and then you want to build windmills. What if the climate changes? And the climate will change when you build windmills because it will change how the wind moves across the land. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They haven't, they haven't thought, thought it through. It's not logical. It's not. It's not logical at all. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's nice to have these ideas and it's nice to be able to try things and it's nice to be able to talk about it and debate mm -hmm. with people. But but it, it's <laughs> the, the 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 reality is 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 it's a very bizarre world that we that we live in yeah let, mm -hmm. let, let's not listen to all these scientists but we'll put teenage girls on the stage with microphones and listen to the teenage girls with the microphones um mm -hmm. that doesn't seem like a very intelligent way to run our future so um yeah yeah <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't know this is a fun, it's a funny world